Welcome back to another tips video. Today we're going to cover another way of how you can open that files and it's going to be for free. Now before we talked about how you can do that using Visual Studio which is a great way of doing it. This is simply another way you can do same thing and have access to a grid that is sortable and perhaps we'll see some extra features you can do here and it'll be even better way than doing it in Visual Studio. So let's jump over to my screen and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so what you see here is my application called Message Crawler. This is the application that is available on my website. I'm going to uh, launch it, of course, and I'm going to go to import that and I will pick a dat file I want to load. Now this is a sample dat file of various text messages and different uh, uh, information here which I generated but the idea is this is stored as a dat file and we were able to just say file open and we were able to load all this data into delimited view right just like we open this in Excel and we can control what kind of delimiters we're using here it's a CSV or concordance the con concordance are default now the awesome thing here is we didn't have to do any database setup all the fields you see in the grid are text fields. So if you were to sort by uh, something like that, this date, it will not sort correctly. Same thing if you have uh, digits that are not padded with zeros in front. Uh, the, the upside, of course, you didn't have to set any of the fields up. The downside, the fields aren't sortable. Now, if you do want to sort by uh, one of the columns here, like a date stamp, you can use uh, date format tool here to create a sort date uh, which is going to be um, a sortable date time again I'm just gonna give you a quick example and, and a timestamp and so we can create a date field that would be sortable because it's fully padded with numbers uh, but normally you are limited at looking at this data sorting alphabetically the other thing you can do here is tally. So if we go into data tools, we can go to a tool called names normalization. The idea of this tool is to look at all the names, like let's say from 2CC, and we can see every unique instance of a name that we have. Well, we can also use this to look at, uh, let's say, every instance of a message type or an application name or anything else. So this tool will tally on any field or multiple fields. And if there are multiple values, you can specify uh, one specify delimiter here and you'll be able to see all the multiple values here. So this is one of the tools I have that you can use to QC your dat file. You can open it, you can perform tally, you can scroll up and down, and you can determine whether this dat file is good or not good for production. Now, I know you guys say message crawler, that's application that you sell and it's a paid application. That is correct. However, everything I showed you today is not part of the paid feature set. You can import that files. You can look at them. You can tally. You can create sort dates. You will not be able to export them out or save them because that is a paid feature. However, in this video, we were just talking about how you can open that files and look at them. And you will be able to do that using evaluation version of message crawler. So go to my website, hashtag legal.com, message crawler, download a copy. It'll run in evaluation mode, which is going to be just fine. You will be able to load that files into it and you will be able to look at them and you'll be able to know whether this uh, that file passes quality control for production or not. All right. Thank you for checking out this tips video. See you guys next time.